Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today I wanted to share some easy ideas and really affordable things to do if you are hosting a child's birthday party, specifically their first birthday, because I feel like that's the one where we tend to want to kind of go overboard because it is so exciting. However, it's one of those birthdays that it's really just for the parents. Of course, they're not gonna remember their first birthday. Um, it can easily add up, especially with Pinterest and social media and all the things we think we should be doing. But I feel like you can really make parties really cute, really fun, while still staying practical practical and having a manageable budget or um, funds that you're spending for a birthday. So I thought I would share some things that we are doing for our sons, decor wise, goodie bag wise, and all of those good things. He will be a year in about three weeks. However, we are celebrating his birthday in June at my parents' house. So that's my first tip when doing a child's birthday party. If you're able to host it at someone's house, then you're automatically saving money on renting a venue, paying for a space, whatever the case may be. Our older son for his fourth birthday, we rented a gymnastics place and that alone already cost a good amount just to rent out a space or a room. So if you're able to have it at your own house, someone else's house, that really saves a lot. So we are doing theirs because they have a pool and we are just gonna do a really easy pool party. Then with the decor, I know nowadays with just everything that you see online, it's easy to get carried away with decor. But honestly, I feel like the simpler, the better. So we are doing kind of like a shark theme for him since it is pool related. And the only reason I went that route is because when I was walking through Target, I saw that they had a lot of shark stuff that of course was a reasonable price point and was super cute. So they have like a whole shark line of just really cute things. So I just picked up like napkins, plates, a banner, um, a tablecloth, let me see some straws and I think that's really it nothing too crazy it was probably maybe like 30 bucks for the decor and then I added in a couple extra things from like Hobby Lobby or if I found other shark things so like this little pinata from Hobby Lobby that I think was like ten dollars after the 50% uh, off and then some additional little shark items so you can really find affordable themed pieces that aren't gonna break the bank if you're kind of smart with how you go about it. Then another reason I kind of wanted to make it pool theme or kind of go that route is because my mom, she has hosted a lot over the years. So she already has a lot of party items. She has like fishnets, buckets, just general like beach balls, things that we can add in where I'm not going overboard with the decor, but that just kind of make it nice and elevated a little bit. So we will tie in those things that she has. And then she also has all the serving pieces. So I'm not having to bring a ton of stuff, purchase all these pieces, purchase cups and um, just things to put the food in, the bowls, all of that is there. So that is awesome. So that makes it really, really simple. Along with the decor, food items, we're gonna keep it really easy since it is by the pool and just relax, but I'm gonna try to make it a little bit cuter by going along with the theme and purchasing foods that I can make like an ocean theme. For example, like uh, grapes or blueberries could be fish eggs or pretzels could be driftwood or just things like that but nothing too elaborate. I mean, it's it's a kid's party. So we're doing some fruits and vegetables and we're doing hot dogs or sausages for the parents and then drinks for the adults. Um, but I will say with the food, another way we save money is my sister always bakes their cakes. It's something she's done since our older son was born and it's really special, it's really cute. And of course, cakes can get up there. So she bakes their um, primary cake that they blow out the candle and eat. And then a really um, good thing that we started doing with our older son that just works really well is making cupcakes for the rest of the kids or the adults. It's easier to grab and go. Everyone's hands are in the cake. If your child is putting their whole hand in the cake and licking it, it's more sanitary. So then she makes individual cupcakes and then I can just stick these on the cupcakes and then she can make a smaller cake. 
Like I said, if you get a custom cake, they can really kind of creep up there with the price. So this is just another way that I personally like to save a little bit money. Then um, another way is with their invites, I like to email it. So I know that a lot of people like to send things in the mail. I am very big on that with like anything wedding related, baby showers, but with kids' birthdays, it's just easy to send a digital invite. Um, I just BCC it to everyone so no one can see each other's email address. And I also save it in my phone and I can text it out to people. So it's just a really easy way and you're saving money um, ordering them and having them sent to you and then mailing them out and the cost of postage. So that's another option of things to do. Then I like to do goodie bags, which I shared my son's goodie bags in a previous video. I will link that below, but I like to do a little something, but keep it very cost effective. So this is for our younger son's birthday. And these are the same bags I use for our older son. They're at Hobby Lobby. I think they come in a pack of 12. And of course, very reasonable. Everything is half off there or um, just a good price point. So I have the same bags. And then I mentioned these little tags that Hobby Lobby also has that come in a pack and I just twist tie it around. I like that you can see through it, kids can see it, and it's just easy. So since it is a shark theme, I got goldfish because it just went along with that. Some sunglasses that go with the summer theme, bubbles just because they're younger and it's geared for younger kids. And then I bought a pack of these bath shark toys. So really easy, super simple, nothing crazy, but just adds a little bit more um, of a personal touch. So. I really like these. And then the last thing that I kind of did just to make it a little bit more special is I did get shirts for me, my husband, um, our older son, and then our younger son. So our younger son, his is birthday shark instead of baby shark. And then just so we can take some cute pictures as a family, I think on Etsy, maybe there were like $80 total with shipping. Nothing too um, out there for shirts, but I did want to do something a little bit different for us. But really, that is all I plan to do. I plan to keep it simple, easy. I really try to save money where I can because in my mind, it's more about just creating the memories and the experiences and having fun as opposed to all the material things that I feel like we can easily just get sucked into, especially when we want it to be special for our kids and we just see all these things that other people do. But really, I feel like there's some really practical, easy ways to make it a fun experience. So I hope this gave you some ideas. Like I said, I will leave my other goodie bag video below for our four-year-old. Four and I hope you have a good one and I'll catch you next time. Bye.